biblical answer is yes, relatively. Um, there, it is true that as people who are finite and fallen, uh, we cannot, this side of the resurrection, be perfectly holy. Sin will cling to every act, to every affection. Uh, so we have to be aware of that. I mean, it's the Romans 7 reality, and I believe that that reflects Paul's experience as a believer. So sin will always cling to us. We will never be perfect in our actions or our thoughts. However, the Bible does talk about God's people being holy, and not just in the sense of our justification. The person who believes in Jesus Christ is declared to be holy and blameless through Christ's mercy and merits. And so we stand before God, we're declared to be perfectly holy, even though in, our, in a practical sense we aren't. But there is also a sense in which God talks about His people as being righteous and being holy uh, in an experiential way, though it is relative. So I believe that Scripture teaches that there is a holiness that is fueled by faith and wrought by the Holy Spirit in the lives of God's people through this process of sanctification. The book of Hebrews says that, uh, that we are to pursue peace and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. We're to pursue it. And it's not to pursue it in vain and never attain it. It is to pursue it because that is God's will for us. And there is no boasting in this because any righteous deeds that are coming out of me is because of Christ who works in us, both to will and to work for His pleasure. So it is a testimony to God's grace in us. It is the work of the Spirit through the ministry of the Word and our response in actively obeying God that produces this ongoing growth in uh, the character of God, reflecting the image of God in us. So yes, we can be godly Christians. We can be holy, but uh, not in any sense that that is merely derived from us trying harder, but it is the fruit of Christ in us who is progressively transforming us into His image.